Hey, what's up, blues fans? John with the Blues Guitar Institute here, and welcome to your Tuesday Blues lesson number 15. Alright, so this lesson is a culmination of a couple of lessons uh, in the Tuesday Blues series. First, we started back in lesson number seven with a country blues picking sort of lick over a G chord. And really it was meant as an exercise to kind of get your pinky moving and uh, something that I was working on myself. Um, and it kind of turned into a cool little melody. So we took that same melody and applied it to the C chord. And then now you've got two chords that you can kind of change back and forth in, uh, from and to, but really there's a four chord, there, there's the one chord, but we're missing the five chord, um, which in the key of G would be D. So today I want to introduce what we do over the D and then show you how to pattern this thing through to an entire progression. So I uh, also want to say be sure and stay tuned to the very end of this video. I'm going to show you how you can get a little bit more advanced training on um, this little um, you know, lesson, and um, I think it'll be worth your time. So uh, check this thing out. Here we go. Here's the lesson. Okay, so one thing that's very unique about this progression is that uh, we're going to start on the four chord. Uh, now, I'm, I'm listening to a ton of Piedmont blues over the last few years, and one thing that strikes me as unique is that there are a lot of songs that don't start on the root. So with this lesson, I chose to start on the four chord, or the C chord. So we're going to pick up from the lesson 13, um, what we did over the C chord. Okay, and then we're going to move to the G chord, which we did in Lesson 7. So nothing has changed so far. We're starting on the C, and we're moving to the G. And now here's the new thing. We're going to fret up our D7 in the real country blues finger picking way that, that I like to do, which is hooking my thumb over and catching the six uh, string second fret. And then your rest of your D7 is fretted up as it normally would be. And uh, that's actually your middle finger on the second fret third string, your index finger on the uh, first fret second string, and then your ring finger second fret first string. And then add the, the bass. All right, so that's what we're working with. All right, so let's uh, let's talk about the actual melody that we're doing. There we go with the C, G, then we slip into the D7, and that's all we do. It kind of sounds like a partial um, melody here because we actually finish out on a different chord. But here's what we're doing over the D7 before we move um, to that next chord. You do the alternating bass between the 6th string and the 4th string. Very typical, this chord shape. So hit the bass note on the 6th string. And then pinch your 4th string and your 1st string. And I've, I've got my um, D7 in, in full force here, so that ends up being the 2nd fret on the 1st string. And then back to the 6th fret. Uh, sorry, the sixth string for the uh, the bass, and of course that's holding it down with the thumb. And pick up your middle finger, sorry, your ring finger, and that will um, let the open first string ring. All right, so that's the first little bit. The next thing is pick the. Um, second string and you're still holding down the rest of the D7. We picked up our um, ring finger here but that would be the first fret on the second string that we're playing. It's still kind of held in position. And then we finally finish with the open fourth string. And then we 
basically jump into a C position, but put your pinky down on the third fret of the first string. And this will be the picking pattern. Okay, now the alternating bass for a typical C chord fretted like this uh, works with the fifth and the fourth. So before we're doing six, four, then we'd slip here and we do five, four. So we're going to keep that going throughout this little part. Um, but remember, we've got our pinky down on the third fret, and I just want to pinch the fifth and the first strings, then pick up this second string note. Then we're at the um, the fourth string for the bass, and then I'm going back to that first string note. Finish off with this. That's the last little bit. Okay, so real slow, here's this part with the D7. Okay, so that's the new stuff, um, and then from there we're going to go back to a G lick, the same one that we know and have used since lesson seven. And that rounds out the progression. All right, well, thanks for joining me for lesson 15. I hope you really enjoyed that. It's kind of the culmination of, and putting things together from lesson seven with the G chord and then lesson 13 with the C chord. And, um, you know, we did put this together in kind of an interesting and very Piedmont blues, country blues kind of a way. So, um, you know, it's definitely going to be very challenging to get these parts to kind of fit together. But once you get to a point where you're playing this round and round, and you're playing it perfectly, you may want to go deeper. And so I've set up a premium lesson over on BGI that uh, is available at the link that's shown on your screen right now. So if you want to go a little bit deeper into this and maybe add a few more, more advanced techniques like some, some interesting bends, a couple of licks, maybe a bass run or two, things like that. that. Those sort of things are going to be included in the lesson. But again, check out this link and learn more about how you can get access to this uh, premium lesson. All right, well, thanks so much for uh, checking out Lesson 15, and I hope to see you next Tuesday in Lesson number 16. Have a great week.